Hello everyone, my name is Laura and I will be telling you how to use Google Classroom. So this is where all of your classes are. So if you look up at the very top corner, you'll see a plus button and whenever you click that, then your teachers can give you a code. Once you type in that specific code, then it will pull you up to the class that you want to be in. Okay, so if you start to look around, you'll see a comment box. In this box, you can type in anything that your entire class can see. So there are several students out there who enjoy to click on these and then type in a bunch of random letters. That includes spamming or even typing in very personal information. So everyone just remember that everyone in the class can see these, including your teachers. Okay, so now that we look around, we see a, an assignment with a clipboard on it. That's how you know that this is an assignment. So this one's called Essay, and the instructions right here are to write an essay. So these are your instructions, and the teachers can tell you how to do an assignment or really anything else. In different assignments, some assignments don't just include the description, but they also include um, teacher attachments. So they can, there can be the description along with a teacher attachment, which is right here. This one is a PDF, but they're not always PDFs. They can be really anything else. That includes Google Slides, Google Docs, um, Google Canvas, videos, really anything. So we head back to our assignment. There is no place for us to write an essay. I mean, I'm not going to write it in the comment section because then the teacher can grade them. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here to the add or create. And under there, there we can create a Google Doc. But if I already have it made, then I can go to my Google Drive and scroll down. And we're just going to say that this is my essay right here. And then we can add it to the assignment. Or we can also go to a Google Doc and it'll create its own Google Doc for the assignment. And once this loads, you can click it and it'll take you to a brand new Google Doc that you can turn in for the assignment. Okay, so I'm going to type out my essay, change the font, and the size. And boom. Perfect. Okay, so we're all done with that. No more troubles, so I'm going to turn it in. Alright, so we can turn it in, and now all of our troubles are solved, and I'll get an A on this, and wait. I totally forgot. I didn't want that to be dot dot dot. I wanted it to be just a period. So, I gotta go back and fix that. So whenever I get to it, I'm just gonna fix that real quick. And as you can see, I am no longer in edit mode. So this is because I turned it in. After you turn something in, you cannot go back and edit it. So what you have to do, you can either click request edit access, or you can come back to it, unsubmit it, then go back to your documents and fix your change. And now my essay is perfect. Okay, so now I can go back and turn it in once more. So if you look here, it says 100 points. This is because 100 points is the total amount of points that you can get. So the highest grade you can get on this is a 100. So if you go to a different assignment, then you will see that you, have, you can have grades. So if I go to this one, a little bit further down, and here it is, then you can see that my grade is shown here 100 out of 100. That beginning number and ending number can be really anything, so you can get a total of 25 points and you only got 14 out of 25. So as you already know, you as a student are able to leave comments in the comment section and post announcements. But the only downside to this is the fact that, number one, there are spelling errors, and number two, anyone can see these. 
every single person in the entire class can see these. So if there was something that I wanted to keep private or talk to my teacher about, maybe I didn't understand something in class or wanted to get tutored over it. So you could go over here and then go to private comments. Then you could just say, hey, I need some help or tell the teacher whatever important need that you don't want anyone else to hear. Another way that you could send a private comment to your teacher is by going to people. You can access people by going to the very top of the screen and going back to your class and then going to people. Here you're able to click the envelope next to the person that you want to talk to and then you can immediately email them from there. Thanks everyone for listening. Bye!